you know, uh, to get an opportunity to come back and be with some of your special uh, friends, people that, that were with us here, our players, coaches. Uh, we're a little fewer in numbers than what we've been. We've lost some people, but uh, and we're a little, look a little older, got a few extra pounds, stuff like that, but, uh, you know, same old people, same old hearts. Same old stories? Yeah, some of them get a little bit bigger, though, as the years go along. Have, uh, do you find some of these guys are, are a lot better players now than they were then? If, if, if they're talking, they are. Uh, and I guess the same thing goes with Buddy and Jim and the rest of us. We, 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 uh, we were better coaches then, too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, just, to, just to get together and talk about old times, reflect on the past, and, that's important, you know, to be able to uh, to share some stories. Uh, but it, it's just great to be with these guys and their wives. And uh, when we get together, it's like we hadn't been apart uh, for 45 years. And, uh, oh yeah, all kind of stories. <laughs> They get embellished. It's like a good fish story. I know, sir, that every time I'm around, it's been five years. I know you think you can get together. It looks like you don't want to pick up and you left off. You're going to get a few years. That's a special, something special. Well, you know, it's hard to describe. It's an intangible. It's like we were talking over here at the table. Coach Andrews and, and uh, Coach Nix was talking about a defensive end we had on our team named Adrian Gant. And he was six two and a half, weighed 210 pounds. Coach Nix just said today he could probably play in the NFL. He said they were one of the best pass rushers. But the intangibles, it's just really hard to describe, Ken. It's a great group. Well, you know, I don't have a very good memory. <laughs> yeah, well, <that's... laughs> Nobody uh, Well, just a couple of things. One is uh, in weight rooms. I mean, in my day, in Valley, you think we had weights at Valley High School in 1968? I think in 1967, we got a universal one of those universal gyms. And that was nothing. So we come here, and have, there wasn't much of a weight room. We had a weight room, and I'm in there, and Jim King is just hollering, don't cheat your body. <laughs> don't cheat your body. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that. The other thing, and I told Coach Andrews this, but I remember... Uh, I didn't really like kicking box, but I know a lot of you did. And, <laughs> and I just, and he never abused me, but I thought he abused a lot of people. <laughs> right. So I, went, uh, I didn't come back that year. And, uh, but Coach Andrews, the, when he called me and said, I want to come see you, I, it, it really changed my life that I got to come back and be part of her. And we met Judy after that. Wow. I mean, it changed her life. Uh, so I appreciate that. And this is not a word said, but it was a um, personalities. You know, we, we all have different personalities in here. You figured that out? <clears throat> I love watching the sideline. Because, see, Coach, Coach Nix was kind of my kind of guy. That was, I'm, I'm more methodical. Just tell me what to do. I'll do it. And Coach Andrews would get excited. Between the two of them, they got me to do more than I knew I could do. But it was really fun to watch. I'm glad to watch. You think she'll bring her up to lunchtime and we'll see you eat some at the Tiger Room? That'll be a pretty good time. Yeah. Won't it? 1973, Coach King gave me a chance here to be a GA in 1973. And, uh, you have some ups and you have some downs. You're going to have both. And I tell you what, there never has been a time that Coach Nix, Coach Andrews, or Coach King that I didn't call on. And sometimes it's embarrassed to call them because it seemed like I was always calling to ask favors. 
but they have been with us and right there every single time. And I cannot, Coach King, I told him this this morning, he, my dad, I don't have my dad anymore. But Coach King is as much like my father as anybody ever has. He, and these guys have more influence on my life than anybody else. I probably talk too much, but I think there's a thing that one of us talked about that we say now that was, used to be hard to say, but I really and truly love everybody in this room. Amen. That may not be what you want. Amen. No, no, you got it. All right, Coach Nix is going to be a part of this thing, so I get that out of the way up front. Uh, a lot of things changed for me at Livingston. Of course, I met my wife. And we've been married for 38 years. I thank her for those three beautiful children that we have. So it's that 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 part is is, a, is huge in my life. Uh, I look back on my life and I see all these different things by design. It was it was it was. Uh, Divine intervention, if you will. It wasn't me. I, I just had to be in the right place at the right time. I made so many mistakes, but thank the good Lord, I was able to make some good mistakes. The legal court, she was one of them. Now, she, the biggest decision that I ever made was to marry her. The greatest decision I ever made. The impacts on my life with coaches, uh, I can recall two huge ones. Uh, Coach King was also an academic advisor. We'd come uh, visit with him for every quarter and. And we do uh, do an evaluation of where we're academically, and then we would uh, uh, select our, our courses of study for the next quarter. And uh, he signed me up. But what I remember about that, not so much the classes, because I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to classes anyway, was that he would he would say, "Home, ain't nobody you can't block. Home's up. You're gonna be all American. Home, you're gonna be all conference." And I, I knew he was just. I thought he was just blowing smoke at the time, but I got to believe in that. I got to think, you know, I'm, maybe I can. Maybe I can. If Coach King believes in me, I can do that. I can, I can do that. I can. <clears throat> and you, you raise the bar. You find another level. Uh, I wasn't. I was a walk-on. You know, and, uh, and Coach King, he gave me a chance. And I'll, I'll never forget for that. Uh, and Coach Andrews, and you don't remember this, that the second year I was here, I was 72, I was ventured because I had to go off the National Guard. You literally saved my life by getting me in the Guard because I've been, I've been Vietnam bound. I was gone. Draft number 10, where, where do you think I'm going? <laughs> uh, and you, you got me in the, I called over the National Guard unit, they had a vacancy, and they got me in. You saved, you saved my life. But during that 72 season when I was ventured, I got the good fortune to go through two years of what we call toilet bowls. <laughs> y'all, y'all, you know, play them. Remember, uh, every Monday after a ball game, that if, if you didn't dress out or you didn't play, you got to experience hell on earth. Uh, it was intense and it was a bloodletting. And I was having a pity party one day, feeling sorry for myself. And the only time Coach Andrews ever put his arm around my shoulder that I remember, he said, "Come over and, and, and quietly and calmly looked at, looked at Mr. Tony and said, I thought you were going to use this time." To Get better. I won't ever forget that. That was way too calm. So don't waste it. <laughs> so hey, to, hey, Tony, one more second. If you will, very quickly, relate the story with Coach King and Michael Wimberly about Coach King recruiting Wimberly. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I love that. Or so story. I've been told, and this was told by Clement Spruill. I heard Clement tell it. They go off. Michael Wembley, he, he came after the 71 team. Yeah. I think a 73 recruit. Heck of an athlete. He could run, he could run a hole in the wind. A wide receiver. Michael is very, very smart. He's now a dentist practicing in North Carolina. See if memory serves me correct. And his father was an academic, uh, and mother and father both were school teachers, I think, down in Jackson, Alabama. And they, and Co Clement, Coach, Bro um, Coach uh, King, go down to recruit him. And I think Mr. and Mrs. Wimbley asked him, don't y'all have a, a pre-med school <laughs> at Livingston? And uh, Coach, oh, yes, sir. Biology 101. <laughs> <laughs> Became a dentist, and that's what he wanted to do. So it worked out. It worked out.
that you, uh, I asked you about it and you'd forgotten. That's what we want, something they forgot you had when you weren't here. All right, well, that's so Coach King, all due respect, <laughs> I think you have cheated your body. <laughs> I, I want to ask one question. What was your, what were you, who was your motto in academic support? <laughs> yeah. It was so, don't cheat your body in the weight room. Was it don't cheat your mind? <laughs> it's better to cheat than repeat. <laughs> 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 Be all right, don't you know? <laughs> But Coach, King, uh, Coach Andrews doesn't remember this story, but I'll tell it briefly. I had just gotten cut from uh, Charlie Pell at Jacksonville State, and I went to Minor and talked with uh, Barry, uh, Barry Holiday. He said, man, I know those coaches down at Livingston. I'll call them. So Barry Holiday called one of you guys, and I came down the next day. It was raining. You remember this story, yeah. Andrews, Coach? And uh, you got a holder, and we went down the field, and I didn't miss. You know, he had me kick 10 or 12, and they were short ones, but I didn't miss. And uh, talking about feeling good, you know, it was out in the rain. Do you remember that now? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. But another thing that just kind of like Tony Holmes, making you feel like you could do something, Coach Nix, you know, he probably didn't remember this. Coach Andrews doesn't remember the story, so you probably don't either. <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> one day, we just met in the hallway or on the sidewalk, and you called me Surefoot. And I said, oh, my God, Coach is calling me Surefoot. And, you know, about the, during, during, and so I was scared of all of it. I mean, <laughs> and so a guy, you know, I just ran in that. I think, you know, Surefoot, how about that? Come well, on, let me just say this to you. As bad as our offense was, if we could get three points, we knew we could win. <laughs> we lose somebody at least one every five years. So keep that in mind. If there's anything you want to tell to one another, let's make sure you take advantage of it while we're all here together. Now, there's one special person here that uh, I want to recognize and say, thank God Sandy King is here. Yeah. Special, and all of us know Coach King as well as we do, know how special she is. At Rand, we're going to have some storytelling time uh, tonight, but we'd like to, I'd like to briefly, briefly now, ask y'all a question, and we'll call us outside the lines. This is something that one of our coaches has said to us that they've long forgotten, but we'll never forget. And I, I'll give you an example, and I'll get emotional about it, but it's some little things that come to my mind, and I said one well, all three of them that I'll never forget. One is I got bad sick one night after a ball game, and, and my roomie got Coach King and carried me to the hospital. And uh, that, that was a show of kindness that you'll never, I'll never forget. And I'll also never forget Sandy King sending a bowl of soup to my room the next day because I couldn't get out of bed. I'll never forget that. Coach, uh, Coach Nitz, in 1971, before the uh, season started in spring, I went up to Jacksonville State to watch the spring games. I'm going to watch, watch their spring before we play them that fall. And I'm walking in front of the stands, I hear somebody holler my name out. And I look up there, and there's Coach Nix halfway up the stands, hollering my name and waving to me. That's a little thing, but it was a big thing to me. I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, <laughs> 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 